And now onto our dinosaur of the day, Priconodon, which was a request from Buttceratops via Patreon and Discord. So thanks. It was a notosaurid, getting back to the notosaurs, that lived in the early Cretaceous in what is now Maryland in the U.S. And it was found in the Arendelle Formation and Potomac. You got it. <laughs> we were looking at each other because the first time we went to D.C., Sabrina was like, the Potomac. <laughs> Like the Potomac. It's very famous. Because <laughs> uh, that's what happens when you grow up on the West Coast. Yeah. The Potomac group. Yep. Nailed it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Briconodon is only really known from the teeth, so it's hard to say what it looked like or how big it was. But as a notosaur, it would have probably walked on four legs and been low to the ground and then been covered in armor and have no tail club. The type species is Priconodon crassus, and the genus name means saw cone tooth. Saw cone? Yep. Yeah. And the species name means thick. It was named by Marsh in 1888, so it's a Bone Wars dinosaur. Not surprising. Named from the teeth. Yeah. Yeah, he named it based on a large tooth. He compared it to Dirocodon, which is now known as Stegosaurus. The tooth had a large root, and it was worn. It was described as a worn tooth. Marsh wrote that there were a number of fragmentary remains which were not found with the tooth and the tooth he named as the holotype specimen. And he said these remains would be, quote, described more fully elsewhere. So he described the tooth as having a, quote, narrow neck, a swollen base, and flattened crown, and that the, quote, serrated edges meet above at a sharp angle. Sounds like a cone. Yep. Now Lowell later recognized five more Priconodon teeth and found them to be similar to Paleoscincus, which is a now dubious ankylosaur, also named from teeth, found in what is now Montana. Lowell also referred to a vertebral centrum as Priconodon, but Gilmore later tentatively assigned that to Ornithomimus and said that it was part of the sacrum, which connects to the pelvis. In 1921, Gilmore wrote that though how we classified armored dinosaurs at that time, quote, is somewhat in confusion. <laughs> <laughs> End quote. Recent discoveries that had not yet been described, again, this is in 1921, show Priconodon should probably be classified as a notosaurid rather than a stegosaurid based on the size of its tooth, features, and wear. And then in 1978, Walter Coombs also said that the tooth belonged to a notosaur. Now, some scientists think that Priconodon is dubious, but others agree that it's valid. In 1998, Kenneth Carpenter and Jim Kirkman published a review of early Cretaceous ankylosaurs found in North America and found Perconodon to be a valid dinosaur and to be a large notosaurid. Oh. Yes. It was a big tooth, so they think it was a big notosaurid? Well, they also found 12 more isolated teeth from the same area where the holotype was found, and they also tentatively referred a left tibia, or shin bone, to Perconodon. That's much more helpful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And this left tibia came from a coffee mine in Muirkirk, Maryland. The tibia, it's stout like other notosaurids, and it's about 12 inches or 31 centimeters long. Yeah. Now, Carpenter and Kirkwin wrote, quote, We find it peculiar that no armor plates have yet been reported from the Arendelle Formation, end quote. But they said that doesn't mean Priconodon didn't have armor. They said, quote, Instead, we advocate that either we are mistaken and Priconodon is not an ankylosaur or that it is simply fortuitous that armor has not yet been found. This should not be surprising considering how few fossils have been found in the Arendelle. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point because the, the thing that fossilizes the best is usually teeth. And if all you're finding is teeth and then the one shin bone, there's a decent chance that it's like, well, we're only finding a very few things and that's why we're not finding the osteoderms. Yes. Or maybe it's like the first ever non-osteoderm having notosaurid, but that would be way less likely. I mean, it would be interesting, but <laughs> that's very hard to say. Yeah. In 2004, Alex West and Neil Tibbert also found Priconodon to be valid by comparing its teeth to other notosaurids and ankylosaurs. And the teeth are different from other notosaurid teeth because they are so large. The tooth size ranges from about, it's around half an inch or one to one and a half centimeters long, and about well, 0.3 to half an inch, or 0.7 to 1.4 centimeters tall. That's according to Carpenter and Kirkland. What a massive tooth. <laughs> Full half an inch. <laughs> well, yeah, on paper, or just 
talking about it, it doesn't sound that impressive. But when I get out a ruler and started looking at it, like, yeah, that's a big tooth. Yeah. For an ankylosaur. Yeah. It's bigger than my teeth. Some of them. Maybe all of them. I well, don't know. I haven't measured your teeth. <laughs> 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 and you don't need to. So for comparison, the largest Edmontonia teeth were about 0.45 inches or roughly 1.2 centimeters long and about 0.4 inches or one and a half centimeters tall. It's pretty similar. Yeah. Except slightly taller. Slightly taller, but slightly not as long. Shorter. Yeah, it depends what end of the range mm -hmm. for the other one. Other animals that lived around the same time and place as Priconodon included pterosaurs, sharks, lungfish, turtles, and crocodilians, and then dinosaurs such as Carcharodontosaurids, Dromaeosaurs, Ornithischians, Ceratopsians. Most of these are known from fragments and teeth and considered to be indeterminate members of their group, so it's not too specific which <laughs> kinds of dinosaurs. That's why you threw out Ornithischians. Yep. <laughs> Usually we can get a little more specific than that, but I guess not <laughs> in this case. Not from this formation at this time. Not yet. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.